As a content creator, I'm always on the lookout for ways on how I could automate or become more productive. And in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you could build a thumbnail image generator using Python with Streamlit. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. So this is the app that we're going to build today. And, you know, as a content creator, when I'm creating blog posts or tutorial videos and publishing it on YouTube, a recurring theme is to create a thumbnail image or the cover image for the blog post, right? The thumbnail image for the YouTube video and the cover image for the blog post. Um, and mostly I'm in the situation where I have to pay subscription to a, you know, like image gallery or vector images where I'll then go through their catalog of wallpapers, um, as you can see here, as an example, and then, you know, purchase them either on a monthly or annual basis or even on a per image uh, basis. And so over time, that could really add up. And so in this video, you're going to see how you could automatically generate this using pure Python and using a UI interface with Streamlit in order to help you to, you know, quickly iterate the creation of the wallpaper image. And so you could either use this as a wallpaper for your computer's background, or you could also use it for your content. As I mentioned already, the cover image for blogs and also the, the thumbnail image for uh, the YouTube videos. So let's have a look at the app here. You're going to notice that we have the sidebar and the main panel here. So the sidebar here will allow you to select the color. So here we're creating the selection of two colors. By default, it's showing the cyan blue color and then also the, the pink magenta color here. And then we're mixing the color here. So it's quite similar to how I'm mixing the color in the background um, of my room here. And you could also select random, you know, complementary colors. By complementary, I mean like if you have blue, you have orange. If you have red, you have blue. If you, ha if you select green, then you get the complementary color of red. Um, so you can read up more on the complementary color by Googling. Um, so let's try that. See, like if you have green, you have red. And it's random every time. You could play around, click on it, and then you'll notice that the pattern, the geometric pattern is also present there. And there's this gradient um, of the mixing of, of the color as well. So I think it looks really nice. And so let's start with the default. So if you reload the page, the default is like that. And you'll notice that the layout will be different. So if you want it to have, you know, like different uh, direction of the gradient, you might need to refresh or adjust some of the parameters so that it'll trigger the, the rerun of the app. Okay, so let's say that, let me trigger it again. Okay, I think I like this layout here, like a linear gradient. Uh, of the two colors. And this is a collapsible expander box. Okay, so let's proceed to the title text. But before doing so, let me scroll down, let you see. So this is the rendered wallpaper. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that we're also adding, you know, text to the uh, wallpaper image. So this will be ideal for, you know, like YouTube thumbnail image. So I typically will have bold text that will describe the content of the tutorial. Um, so the, by default, I'm just specifying data professor here. If you click on title text, you'll be able to, you know, change the words in here. You could change it to science, enter, and it'll update. You could, you know, adjust the, the width of the box here. And it's called the black bounding box. So let's say it's currently having a width of 750. Let's try with 550, press enter. Let's add a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And the size is a bit too wide. Let me make it, let's say 650, maybe 680 is good. All right, there we go. And then you'll notice that we have the Streamlit logo at the bottom here. So you could add the logo or you could take it out or, you know, add it back in. Um, you could feel free to tweak the app here to accept logos that you upload. And here we could also resize the image of the logo. You know, it's bigger and then we might want to adjust the vertical placement of the image. Okay. 
And then you could also upload your image, like for example, an image of yourself, and then it'll be placed right here at the bottom right hand corner. So let's go ahead and have a look at the app. Let me resize this so that it'll fit between the GitHub repo and the app that we have here. And notice that the sidebar is right here, just in case you need it. All right, so this is the repository for the thumbnail image. And so we have some of the fonts in here. We have the rendered wallpaper that will go in here. And this is the repository. So yeah, as mentioned, if you uploaded the image by selecting the image right here and uploading it, you're gonna get the image at the lower right-hand corner like that. Okay, and so this is like the description of the entire app here. And a worthy point to note is that the wallpaper generation was performed using the wallpaper generator a GitHub repo from Timo Sato. Um, check out his amazing original wallpaper generator GitHub repo. Um, so the entirety of this Streamlit app will be built using the following Python libraries. We also have RenBG for removing the background of the uploaded image. So if you uploaded an image of your selfie, then it's going to remove the background like that. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's click on view all files here. Okay, so, so some of the logos here are irrelevant. Uh, I think I was hosting some of the logo just as an example. So yeah, if you, you have no use for the logos, uh, you could feel free to replace it with one of your own so that you could customize this particular app. All right, and so let's have a look. Main polygon poly lattice here are from the wallpaper generator. Uh, GitHub repo, as I have already mentioned. Let's have a glimpse at it. Okay, so this is the original author for the wallpaper generator. So I did some minimal editing of the original source code so that it'll work with this Streamlit app. And then this polygon will generate the polygon that you see in the generated image. Here, you see that it's like a polygon, triangular and also the poly lattice of, uh, of how it, you know, connects with one another there. And so let's have a look at the Streamlit app. So you're going to see that the entirety of the Streamlit app is 162 lines of code. So in the first nine lines, we're going to import the necessary libraries. So we have Streamlit, NumPy, Random, Sys, Mean, PIL for the image, RemBG, for removing the background of the selfie image and also the IO for when we want to export the image output. So here are the header part of the Streamlit app. The page title is thumbnail image generator. We're setting the page config so that the layout will be wide. And then we have the page title as specified here. sc.info will give us an information of the app, which is right here. This is the path for the generated wallpaper. And we're going to initialize some session state variable for the two random, but not, not actually random, but two specified color, color one and two, which is the cyan and the magenta color that is mentioned here. And then we're going to take um, the wallpaper generator function. Um, and then we're going to create our own, you know, no, actually, this is the generate of the random hex color, which is right here. When we click on the random complementary colors, we're going to generate the random complementary colors using this uh, helper function. And then we're going to convert the RGB to the hex color code using this simple uh, two liner. And we're using the bytes IO for when we want to download the generated image. And then here are the input widget, which we will put in the sidebar. You're going to notice that we're using the ST color picker for the user when they want to select a different color. So here you could select a different color, maybe a darker shade of cyan, and then it will be updated accordingly. And then the ST button for generating the random complementary colors when we use the on click uh, callback function here, the generate random hex color, as I mentioned already right here. So whenever we hit on the button here, it will call the callback function. All right, let's go over the next part of the sidebar widgets. 
So we have the title text, which is right here. The first line, the data, the line where we say, say data here, and then it's specified here. So we're using the text input and also slider widgets, and then also the checkbox, which will allow you to select the bounding box for the text value. We have the left margin number using the number input right here, left margin, top margin, box width, and also the box height. And we're going to do the same for line number two, line number two right here, where we say science or professor right here. And then the image upload will be from lines 81 into 87 right here, where we upload our selfie image. And then we're going to specify the Streamlit logo at the bottom part here of the sidebar. And then if it is true, then it will show the Streamlit logo in the image. Then in our main panel here, we're going to create, you know, two columns. Oh, actually not. So actually the two column was from a prior version. So I think we could comment this out as well because I have already commented this out. So we have the rendered wallpaper and then we have the wallpaper with the text. So in the rendered wallpaper here is without the text and with the text here, we're putting in the specified words of data science or data professor into the image. And the awesome thing is we could use custom fonts. So here you see that we have the font folder and we're using Montserrat black italic for the title fonts here. And you can feel free to change it to other fonts uh, that you like. And then, yeah, we're using a little Python magic in order to align the placement of the text and the bounding box that you see here, and also the align the, the placement of the logo on the image. Right. And so we're specifying the margin, left margin, top margin, um, right here. And then we're pretty much overlaying several layers of the text and the boxes here on top of the generated wallpaper so that we get the merged version as you see, you can see here. And then finally, we're going to save it, you know, using the ST download button function and to display the generated wallpaper and the wallpaper with the text. We're using st.image. And so remember that we have the function to upload the image here. So if an image is uploaded, it will trigger this block of condition to run. And essentially it will, you know, remove the background from the image and then it will place the image on top at the bottom right of the wallpaper with text version here. So it will go right here. And then, yeah, you could download them resulting output. So that's like the alternative, you know, like if this one, if image is present, it'll run this block. If not, by default, it'll just run the above boxes here. And that's it, 162 lines, and you're able to create this thumbnail image generator. So, you know, I'd save a lot of money and also time, especially in generating thumbnail images. You know, I, I could just, you know, s select two colors that I like, and then it'll generate this. So let me show you, you can select light color and a dark color, which is my go-to approach. I like to select one dark color and one darker color, light color and one dark color. And it'll generate this pretty nice looking wallpaper. You know, it could also be another, you know, like maybe a light gray and also uh, a main color that is, you know, vibrant, like red or orange, like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Cool. Okay. You could customize it to your own. Purpose. All right. So let me know in the comment section, if you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know other apps that you'd like me to build. And if you reach this far, drop a balloon emoji so that I know that you reached this far and yeah. So happy streamlining.